Thank you, Chris. <clears throat> Many thanks for the invitation for the FRB UK 25th anniversary. And I would like to remember to the 25th anniversary with a, a previous, with a couple of previous photos. You can see the title of my presentation and uh, here three photos about an event 10 years ago, FRB UK meeting in Birmingham uh, in June uh, 2011. Uh, I uh, received the invitation at that time from Steve Denton and uh, Gordon Clark. You can see the audience here, um, uh, Gordon Clark, um, uh, Robert Clark, sorry, uh, is, um, uh, is speaking uh, on the top right figure and, and John Cairns as well and many other colleagues participated here. And I was happy to uh, participate the whole meeting discussion in 10 years ago. Um, I was happy to remember uh, uh, the UK president of CEB and uh, FIP. Um, and uh, uh, unfortunately, I did not know personally Andrew Short, and the, the FIP uh, president, <clears throat> but I personally knew Roy Rowe. Roy Rowe was a CEB president uh, for two terms. This means two uh, times four years at that time. And uh, I was in very good contact to Gordon Clark, <clears throat> FIP president Gordon Clark. He was president in 2013 and 2014. And we worked a lot for FIB in this period and I was happy to do so. And these are the photos of Roy Rowe. I'm happy to show these photos uh, and Gordon Clark in the in bottom right uh, photo. You can see Chris yourself as well, representing the uh, UK in the FRB uh, meeting in Maastricht, that was technical council um, assembly and uh, FRB symposium as well. Uh, I added Andrew Beebe here, uh, whom I knew personally, and I received from Andrew B.B. the convenership of the SLS Trust Group, um, and I was uh, 15 years, uh, for 15 years, responsible for the uh, Trust Group. We had a very uh, uh, um, living Trust Group, and uh, I go back into some details for this slide. Um, you can see here uh, in some photos, Gordon Clark, to remember him again uh, for the excellent work together with him, um, uh, speaking about uh, the FIB Border Code 2010 in Mumbai in 2011, 2014. Uh, service every states of concrete structures is the title of Bulletin 92. And uh, you can see the main responsible colleagues Jan Vitek, Philip Bish, Clara Burns, Vladimir Cervenka, Norm Eduardo, Patrick Villa, Maurizio Taliano, Lucas Rabrik, Andor Windisch, Adorian Boroschoy, Alejandro Perez Kaidente, Pierre Giorgio De Bernardi, Ekia Feeling, Antonio Mari, Luis Toles, Roman Manda. Um, there is a, a structure concrete article a very long one representing the work which is um, um, discussed and presented also in Bulletin 92 uh, with the explanation of Model Code 2010. You can see at that time, and you can find easily this article with several examples in it. Uh, you can see the whole group um, interested colleagues in serviceability. Um, is Czech Republic, France, Germany, Hungary, Italy, um, uh, Japan, um, Spain, Switzerland, um, uh, Tunisia, and UK. <clears throat> um, cracking is a problem everywhere and knows everybody um, from different um, um, possibilities. And uh, I can see, I can show here. Um, to you, uh, glacial cracking. So the cracking in the uh, in Antarctic 
um, uh, which he included uh, uh, 720 kilo, square kilometer uh, ice was cracked away and uh, changed the local uh, conditions. So the, you can see that these are uh, high forces in the nature uh, which uh, we have to deal with and we, we have to deal with the consequences as well. Uh, concrete structures crack in many cases, and I would like to show you some of these cases, um, cracking due to stress concentrations in a piece of concrete memo. So there is a lot of attention here, and the pre-stressing tendons mean very high concentrated forces, um, 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 which leads to cracking. Sometimes very important is the transverse reinforcement, uh, cracking due to stress concentrations as well in railway sleepers, for example, and uh, this sleeper completely broke um, uh, along the pre-stressing uh, tendons. Uh, most probably, these uh, real uh, these railway sleepers did not have any transverse reinforcement, which was not a what a good idea here. Uh, shrinkage cracks, cracking between. Uh, concrete of different ages. Um, they know this uh, problem and they have to solve to avoid such kind of situations. Um, cracking in airport runway due to plastic settlement, for example, that is another problem in large uh, fields of um, concrete. Uh, leakage of precious concrete formwork uh, uh, in prefabricated elements, they have to take care uh, to close the formwork completely. Uh, otherwise, you have, you, you can have this problem, which you can see here. Water tightness is one of the responsibility of concrete. <clears throat> this, uh, these uh, houses are um, um, pontoon houses, uh, not far from Rotterdam, and they are very nice um, to live there. The people like to live there, uh, especially young people and elderly people, because they have a garden and, and the, the sea as well, and a special life, people enjoy to live there. Uh, of course, you have to, this is a, this is a concrete pontoon, uh, you have to be sure that the concrete is, is water tight, water resistant, uh, even if you have a, a piano in it as well. I, have, I remember I have seen, I visited these uh, houses and there was one house, including one piano, uh, which um, uh, uh, increased uh, the pressure in one side and, um, and the, the balance was um, it looked a little bit different than the others. It was not so, so easy to balance. <clears throat> water tightness, water containers, water reservoirs, that is a bad example, of course. This is my, I show it to you. Um, so the water tightness is fashionable here. And uh, we often speak about uh, self-healing of concrete in case of um, limited crack widths, small crack widths. In this case, I don't believe that self-healing is uh, possible anyhow. Service ability limit states <clears throat> are the states beyond which the specified demand for concrete stru uh, structure or a structural component uh, are related to its normal use or function are not longer met. This is the definition of service ability limit states. Very important that we have only two limit states, ultimate limit states and service ability limit states. In case of service ability limit states, uh, we can see the result of our control. Uh, we can check the deflection and um, um, crack widths of the structure. I often say that I, I like cracking uh, to the students um, which means that I, I, uh, it is important to, by cracking, it is important to see uh, the, the direction of principle stresses, how the whole structure behaves, uh, and um, uh, what are the needs which we have to do uh, and we, which have to meet <clears throat> if uh, cracking um, uh, happens, on, uh, for example, uh, in, in differential settlement and so on. Uh, so very important for expertise, uh, it is uh, for cracking to see the crack, crack pattern because you can decide 
uh, what kind of measures you have to meet. Service safety limit uh, states criteria are related to un unacceptable deformations or deflections, imper functionality, damage to non structural elements, discomfort to people, effect of, of appearance, a very important appearance, ex excessive cracking and slip in connections to uh, affect efficiency, affect uh, tightness, affect appearance, but uh, does not affect structural stability. Uh, excessive vibrations also belong to serviceability. Uh, causes of cracking, cracking can be grouped in these three uh, large groups. First one are the technological um, uh, technological aspects, uh, plastic shrinkage, plastic settlement uh, of early age concrete, uh, which is not part, which is not the responsibility of the model code and also not um, in 92, uh, we have to use um, uh, um, optimal concrete composition and curing and so on. Loads and impose deformations of hardened concrete are the main uh, um, um, uh, aspects for model for 2010 and also 2020 in, in for hardened concrete. Volumetric changes is concrete, alkali, alkali aggregate reaction, alkali silicate reaction, temperature differences are also very important. Um, we have to avoid these situations by selecting the appropriate aggregate and the appropriate uh, composition uh, of concrete. Uh, we, I have uh, shown you uh, some examples exactly to, to indicate that tightness, water tightness, and gas tightness are very important, durability um, uh, uh, for propagation of corrosion to stop um, corrosion or avoid corrosion or limit corrosion is very important. Uh, the, the concrete cover, the density of the concrete cover is important as well, of course. Um, so the permeability of concrete is important, ingress should be limited and so on. Uh, and appearance. This is also mentioned not by uh, engineers, but mainly uh, by other people, non-engineers. <clears throat> this is a very famous and very well-known um, um, result, experimental result of Goto from Japan he published in uh, 1971, indicating internal and external cracks along two uh, overlapping bars. Uh, he did uh, this experiment uh, by uh, ink injection, and he waited for the result <coughs> and <coughs> cut the whole element. And uh, we, we were able to see what we already able to imagine uh, that uh, the force transfer uh, uh, from one uh, tension bar to another tension bar uh, through concrete compression between the two bars, and um, uh, uh, this is demonstrated here. Uh, these cracks are not necessarily appearing on the surface, and uh, these uh, uh, cracks which are not appearing on the surface are, are often mentioned as, as, as micro cracks. You can see, however, even a large crack at both ends of steel bars and did the, the finishing the bar, of course, because there is a, a, a lateral movement of the bar and there is a def deformation concentration in this area. So uh, this is very, this was very important diagram to understand for all of us the internal uh, um, transfer me mechanism in, in concrete. Uh, this is a simplification uh, of uh, the previous uh, result. <clears throat> you can see uh, that some people assume, uh, based on the previous uh, Goto uh, cracks, the results of Goto, which are often mentioned as Goto cracks, the internal cracks, are, are in a limited area around the bar, reducing also the um, uh, stiffness of concrete around the bar. 
Um, there was a new, another young researcher, Lars Eckfeld, and we are very, very glad to him that he, he um, in a different way, repeated the GOTO experiment um, um, se several years later, more than 30 years later. And uh, uh, this, these are the results. This, are based, this is based on his PhD thesis. <coughs> And um, uh, we can see again that the, the, uh, the technology is a little bit different, uh, but um, uh, the visual, visualization is very important of the uh, internal and external cracks as well. So there are cracks starting from the uh, reinforcement, uh, either finishing before arriving to the concrete surface or arriving to the sur concrete surface. Uh, um, I wanted to say that uh, cracking, cracking analysis is as old as the concrete itself. Um, so um, there are many publications uh, going back more than 100 years, uh, but there are still questions uh, today. Even if we, can, if we are able to um, uh, analyze cracking, um, but uh, uh, often the the methods, the way of uh, application, the way of application of um, different formulas and um, different ideas uh, can be different. Um, the one of the biggest difficulties is uh, uh, the crack, the visibility of cracks. Cracks are, can be measured by anybody, um, and uh, they can record it and they can claim these cracks and so on. And we know very well there are uh, there is a distribution of crack, cracking, there is a crack pattern, and you can select a large crack with uh, uh, large widths or a small one. If people try, try to check a, a concrete construction, they normally try to select the large cracks. So it, 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 it indicates even a larger discussion, of course. Um, uh, in the laboratory, we can measure the uh, crack widths uh, of um, in the minimum of 1,000. Uh, and uh, in the uh, on-site, the on-site measurement is also rather sensitive, 100 of crack widths. So th this is no problem. And we have now optical methods and electric methods. So it is easy to measure, but more, more important is to understand. Um, one of the aspects is um, um, we have to realize, and this is why I mentioned at the beginning, um, GOTO cracks, that the shape of the crack is not linear. Uh, you can see that the influence of reinforcement, the reinforcement due to bond in decreases the crack width itself, and indicating that there is a difference between the crack width at the level of the reinforcement and the level of the element. So that would be very important if we are speaking, and especially if we are comparing uh, crack widths, we have to uh, compare on the same level, either on the level of the concrete element or the, uh, at, at the level of the uh, reinforcement. Uh, the different models uh, then are, for example, the, the top one, uh, which is not true, but this is one of the limits. This is the no bond, uh, sorry, the no um, slip theory. In this case, there is no slip and there is no slip, no, no crack bits at the uh, surface of the reinforcement. However, uh, there is even in this case, uh, crack bits measurable on the top of the element. Uh, the, the other extremities is the um, uh, second idea, the, the, the no bond um, uh, theory. In this case, there is no interaction of reinforcement and there is no, uh, no change of the shape of the concrete in uh, tension. Uh, of course, the last, the bottom uh, left diagram is uh, realistic. So we have some uh, um, bond, some um, bond stress and reduction of the um, uh, crack widths um, along the bar, but even in this case, uh, the crack widths are, is higher at, at the top of the element. <clears throat> um, many discussions 
are, are um, uh, carried out if uh, the durability by cracking makes any difficulties or not. Um, uh, that is a, an, an important factor that it influences the durability. And not only uh, the crack weights, I will explain you one of the very important new test results here, but also the porosity of the concrete cover. So by increasing the cement content and by increasing the concrete strength, uh, the dense, density of, of um, uh, concrete cover, co concrete in the concrete cover is, is decreased. And so the condition, um, the, 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 the circumstances are, are, are better. But anyway, to stop discussion, uh, these um, uh, Japanese colleagues did ex this experiment where you can see one single crack on the top middle of the diagram, 0.2 millimeter, and there are measurements of, of um, um, and, and the details I will show in the next diagram how it was measured. Uh, there are differences, uh, especially around the crack air, cracked area. Um, the potential values are different and increase. Uh, close to the cracks. And uh, um, this um, uh, experiment was done with corrosion cells. So uh, electric measurements was ca were carried out and uh, these values are evaluated. Uh, the conclusions are very important that the influences on bending or fractural cracks uh, and water cementation, the corrosion rates of reinforcing bar are, are very Large, were very large. The in the vicinity of bending crack as a macro cell was formed and the corrosion rate increased remarkably. Since the alkali content increases with the uh, decrease in water cementation, the corrosion rate slows down with low water cementation. So these conclusions are very clear. And uh, uh, of course, uh, there is there is an influence of um, the the crack width itself uh, on the durability of reinforced concrete elements or precess concrete elements. This simple e equation is almost enough to understand cracking, uh, how cracking develops and what kind of value can we reach. Uh, but even if uh, uh, we know, every, everybody knows this equation, which, which is nothing else, that uh, the uh, uh, tensile strain of steel reinforcement and uh, minus the, the tensile reinforcement of concrete, which is integrated along uh, the uh, crack distance. Um, so it is it, the idea is very simple. So uh, this is the integration of actually the slip from both sides of a crack. Uh, however, the solution includes several approaches on different levels. And therefore, the approaches also look rather different sometimes, and the results are almost always different. So in, in, within the last 100 years, more than 50 or 60 approaches crack, uh, with calculation formulas are, are um, developed uh, and give different values, uh, however, Almost the same, same um, basic parameters, concrete strength, and so on, uh, are considered. But the but the pro, the, the assumptions uh, then are, are different. So therefore, it is important to understand uh, where the assumptions are embedded and what is the real meaning of uh, the results that we are um, we are um, calculating. <clears throat> yes, uh, the uh, simple time model is presented here which is included in the model code 2010 and built in 92. Here you can see uh, that um, the, the element on the top, <clears throat> um, yes, uh, sorry. Um, and you, can, you can see it here around the crack that there is an increase of steel stress, of course, and the concrete strength is zero at the uh, uh, section of the cracking. And the bottom, di bottom diagram uh, is very important, not only to the bone stress uh, distribution, which is uh, evenly distributed 
which is the simplest one, but uh, it includes uh, the definition or the notation LS max, which is the transmission uh, length uh, of um, 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 the fourth development, and uh, the, uh, this is uh, considered with the maximum value. <clears throat> this is in, in, incorporated in the further calculation. Uh, so the first step, we have to decide, we have to understand how the cracks develop. We uh, distinguish, so after the uh, uncracked electric stage, we uh, consider crack formation stage, which normally means uh, only one crack or very distant cracks. And then afterwards, there is <clears throat> um, the stabilized cracking phase. Uh, uh, in this case, uh, this is the final cracking uh, um, pattern. Uh, actually, I do not really believe that there is a final cracking uh, completely uh, in the case of uh, long-term loading or um, long-term loading or um, um, uh, cyclic loading, but uh, this is an assumption which we can leave with. So it means it is, it is um, suitable for the calculation of deformations. You can see two examples in case of a precess complete member with initial cracking or, or um, crack formation and stabilized cracking, uh, the bottom diagram. Uh, this is a very important diagram indicating all aspects of cracking, which uh, we can further develop in the future, but this is the meaning in general so um, uh, this is the uh, tensile force strain diagram, as I mentioned to you before, including uh, tension stiffening, uh, and calculating, calculating the uh, design value of the crack width, uh, the, which is the multiplication of LS max, which is the maximum uh, uh, distance of crack de development by two sides of the crack, and uh, the strain difference along this LM. Uh, the uh, LS max is calculated considering the concrete cover. You, you can see that the cover is multiplied by a factor um, which is uh, considered to be equal to one. You can uh, choose different values to two. And uh, the concrete cover itself, uh, the concrete tensile strength, and the concrete, um, uh, sorry, the bond uh, strength value and uh, the ratio of the reinforcement. <clears throat> uh, if um, we, there is a lot of discussion if the uh, ratio of the uh, reinforcement uh, and the, the bond stress distribution is an important or not so important um, parameter in crack design, uh, you can see here a visualization of a, a plain bar, and you can see here a deformed bar. So you can see, and you, we, we know we have a, you, the new, new measurements on, for example, on FRP. In case of FRP, uh, uh, there is a, um, uh, especially uh, for um, uh, sand coated surfaces, there is a, there is a very uh, 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 strong. Uh, bond uh, stress and bond uh, ac the anchorage development. We, have, we should not forget about the shrinkage of concrete. In this case, um, we have to uh, make a shift of the previous uh, diagram, not to forget about. So uh, in addition, we have to consider short-term and long-term loading uh, and repeated loading and instantaneous loading. So if you consider crack formation uh, stage and short-term instantaneous loading, uh, in this case, we have the highest values of the bond strength, strengths, and uh, this is close to uh, the uh, double of the, uh, the tensile, uh, mean tensile strength of concrete. Um, and so on, you can see here the different values, including uh, long-term loading uh, with a reduction uh, and so on. <clears throat> Um, effective concrete area it, it, it includes a lot of discussion. There are some models completely avoiding uh, the effective area of concrete intention. Uh, there are some which include, the, um, there is um, one aspect, for example, the um, 
um, uh, the deformation, uh, the import deformation, in case of import deformation and not the loads, we have no other idea to no other solution to include uh, to, to include in the model. Uh, so we kept the effective cartridge area approach, uh, but in the future, it is discussed again uh, if we have a better approach, better solution. Uh, the the graphics limits are very important, and we have to have a harmonized uh, approach for durability. Um, for the durability group, I mean, in, in FIB, uh, and also there is a reference to ISO as well. Uh, so normally we consider point, uh, 3 point 0.4 millimeter depending on the environmental classes for reinforced concrete uh, elements um, uh, and um, uh, only point 0.2 uh, or no no uh, so um, um, not no uh, value for uh, precess concrete elements in in the compression. Um, some of the uh, details of the analysis you can see here uh, stresses and uh, strains, including the time differences. There is a drop of neutral axis, and there is the well known equation on the top right uh, to, to, uh, to use an effective uh, modulus of elasticity, and so on. This is well known. Uh, this is well known also for peace in the bulletin uh, uh, enough. Uh, this is one of the um, particular detail um, how to uh, calculate uh, the LS value. Um, uh, it, it is other details here. Uh, this is the equilibrium equation. Uh, this is rather well known, I think. I shouldn't go into further details here. Uh, the the um, comparison of results indicate uh, uh, for this um, model code approach uh, an acceptable fit if you compare, compare measured crack fits to experimental values where also uh, the tension stiffening uh, in, uh, influence is included. However, we have to mention that of course uh, the correlation is not very high or not very good uh, because uh, the the experiment the, the not all the parameters are exactly the same i mean that the the uh, um, so there are many experiments but very difficult to find similar experiments so this is uh, we, we tried to compare to experimental results uh, uh, and uh, but uh, we have to mention that uh, the scattering is, is relatively high. Uh, uh, there is a very important series of ex new experiments by Alejandro Perez Cardentei. Uh, he addressed uh, the cover influence uh, and uh, measured um, um, beams, tested beams uh, with uh, 20 millimeter as well as 70 millimeter concrete covers. Uh, you can see here that uh, in case of uh, 20 millimeter concrete cover. This is the uh, top diagram, and you can see after 25, which is the bar diameter, uh, there is 20, which is the uh, concrete cover, uh, compared to the bottom diagram, which is uh, 70 uh, millimeter uh, uh, cover. Uh, in case of the, the second diagram, uh, the, the distance of, of cracks are much larger. Yes, I had a not the diagram also here. I'm sorry. Uh, so that was um, this was um, visualized in the, in the diagram for the whole experiment. Um, there are a lot of numerical analysis, and these are this is one of them uh, indicating how the steel stress, how the bar diameter um, influences uh, the crack width for initial cracking and for stabilized cracking. Um, the uh, verification for service stability mistakes by numerical simulation is also very important. And uh, many colleagues do that every day. Uh, of course, there is a difficulty that normally we do not or cannot, uh, cannot um, um, uh, uh, test, uh, uh, measure, uh, measure just for one crack. The numerical analysis, 
Normally, a spacecraft approach is used, including fracture, fracture mechanics uh, approaches. And this is nowadays is um, uh, very well de developing as well. I have to mention finally uh, the uh, cyclic loading uh, in one direction or even in reverse cyclic loading. Uh, in this case, there is a clear increase of slips and slip values and the clear increase of um, uh, the uh, crack width value, therefore, or the reduction of bone stresses. So you should not forget about that. Uh, one additional comment as well, or remark that uh, steel reinforcement, uh, steel fiber reinforcement has for cracking. You can just see a picture of this uh, 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 composition. And in this case, I like this diagram very much. <clears throat> this is a very special um, presentation. Uh, so uh, the, the beam is, the, the length of the beam was two meters and the uh, position of the columns or any columns in the left, left diagrams and the height of the column indicate the crack width. Uh, the first one, the top one, did not include any steel reinforcement. The second one, 5.5% uh, um, um, print reinforcement. Or, and the, the third one, the bottom diagram, 1% steel reinforcement. You can clearly see that the average of the columns, the average of the characteristics decreased considerably, uh, and the, the distribution was different as well. So there is a positive influence of, of uh, steel fibers uh, for cracking definitely. This is my last photo. I should also mention that uh, we have the uh, serviceability group very living. Normally we have two, two meetings, not even one, but two meetings, uh, even in the last years. Um, uh, uh, different uh, uh, universities, countries, and uh, there is a very good atmosphere um, of these meetings. Normally, two days meeting with an excursion and um, with a, a, a family life as well. Thank you for your attention.